Morning, everybody. It is time to visit with your best friend. Of course, we're talking about animals, and we talk about animals. We talk about the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. Rose Hebron is joining us from the <laughs> ARL, and you brought a very active a lively one yeah. this Dog morning. Here. Ready to go. Okay, who did you bring with you today? I brought Roscoe. Roscoe. Roscoe is a six-year-old. Um, we think he's a blue healer, yeah. border collie mix. He's got a lot of energy this morning. Um, just a little nervous to be on camera. Oh, that's I think. okay, Roscoe. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. I did. He's a sweetie. He's yeah. just real you excited. What are you doing? It smells chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good smells. We need to get a he couple wants pieces to vote for the uh, Chicken City Street Taco. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring us a couple pieces of chicken before we finish this yeah. up so we can give Roscoe a little treat for behaving <laughs> so well. It. He sat down right away when we took a picture for, on Instagram uh, before we went on the air this morning, so he did a really good he's job. Good. Look, he's calming Aww. down already, getting he's comfy good, on the couch. Boy. Now, what location can we find Roscoe? He is at ARL Main currently. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, folks, get on out there and get Roscoe a brand mm -hmm. new forever home. That's, yes, that's what right. we're trying to do. Now, we have kitty cats, a lot of kitty cats oh, yeah. at the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, first of all, before we go to the uh, the kitty cat that we have, we want to showcase today, mm -hmm. how are all the other cats that you've been rescuing? Because you just rescued another batch of them. Yeah, the yeah, they're doing well. Um, we're working with the ones that are still with us and making sure that they're happy and healthy before we do give them those forever homes. Right. But yeah, it's been a really crazy summer. It's always been in the summertime, but this summer especially has been yeah, this a, is a lot. A little unusual for <laughs> yes. Are you still needing like foster always, parents for all of the cats yep, and, and we're things still that you looking have right for now? Donations, of okay. course, too, right. to help us with those kitties um, and the dogs, but we've just got so many cats, so we're asking for a lot of cat donations, kitty litter, cat food, all that good right, stuff. Now here is the kitty cat that we're focusing on here this morning. <laughs> what a great name, Lulu. Yeah, oh, like perfect. <laughs> yes, Lulu. He, that, she needs to go home with you. <laughs> <laughs> Three year old and again spayed and neutered. Of course they're spayed and neutered. Mm -hmm. And the shelter cat getaway. What that means is that uh, Lulu is at somebody's home right now and if you yeah. want to see Lulu just give the Rescue League a call and mm -hmm. then you'll come over and uh, bring uh, Lulu over. You have a chance yeah. to meet. Yeah. Go one She's on a one. real mellow little girl. So right. yes. All right. Speaking of girls I want to talk about a program that you have <laughs> with the Girl Scouts. Yeah. Uh, explain what that's all about. Yeah. So we have a Girl Scout program. Hey come here. At the ARL um, and that is all about teaching Girl Scout troops about pet safety and pet responsibility, which is a huge objective that they have at all different levels to earn different badges. Mm -hmm. um, and if they come to the ARL for our program, they also get to earn an ARL fun patch. Um, so that's pretty cool Ooh, and bonus. it's very cute. Um, so they get to come out and learn about pet responsibility rather than just doing it on their own with their own troop. So they is get this to what you want the, the whole shelter. troop to come out? Yeah, and, and yeah. We always in. say like up to 15 girls is usually a good okay. size. Sometimes troops will combine too so that they can meet that 15 if they're smaller. But it's really fun and it's a great opportunity for them to come out and learn those skills and also learn about the shelter and how they can get involved there. Right. Mm -hmm. And the summer is probably a really good time. Yeah, yeah. So we are always booking Girl Scout programs um, and summer is great for it since they're all out of school. They can come any time of the day. Sure. Okay, mm -hmm. and the program nice. takes what, about an hour and a half to go through? Yeah, 90 oh, so, minutes. So it's not too bad. Not so. too bad at all. Okay, okay. excellent. Hey, come here. Right. What else we do we have? have? There are pets yes. training we want to talk about as well, right? Yes, so we have another Therapets training workshop coming up on August 3rd at 9 a.m. at ARL Maine, and that is all for uh, pets and their owners to come and learn about getting certified as a team mm -hmm. to go out and visit different facilities and nursing homes, schools, anywhere where people need smiles and comfort. Um, it's a really cool program. I'm part of it with my pets, and I, oh, love, really? I love doing it. Um, so we always need more, more teams to help us out. We're in how really you, high demand. So. How do you know if you have a pet that is suitable for? I mean, are there yeah. certain things you kind of want to keep in mind, not just any any Absolutely. of our pets are going to probably be good for Yeah, them, right? not every pet. A couple of mine aren't. One of mine is. So it okay. just really depends okay. on their, their personality. They have to be very calm Aww. and comfortable around um, kind of awkward situations because okay. they'll be walking past people in wheelchairs, which is very unusual for a dog or a cat who's never seen that before. So um, you can bring them out and get them tested to see if you're thinking maybe they'd be right. Okay. And we'll let you know if they're the right fit or not. That yeah. is awesome. It's Tell fun. us about Tales with Tails. Yeah. So okay, what is that? <laughs> That's our story time at ARL Maine. So we do a lot of off-site story times at the libraries, but this is ours um, on site. And that is a story time for kids 
ages two through six. Summertime, we try to do it a little more school age based since mm -hmm. there's more kids out of school. Um, but anybody's welcome to come. It's free. We read a story, uh, animal themed story. We do an animal themed craft. And of course, there's animal visitors each time. And it's once a month. It's the first Tuesday of each month. So August 6th is the next That's one. the next yeah. one. All right. Yeah. So Very a nice. lot of things going on there. Oh, yeah. I know uh, uh, we need to ask you and, and talk a little bit about and make everybody aware of what is going on weather wise. It's yes. very dangerous for humans, uh, even more dangerous for dogs. Mm -hmm. And so this is why we stress do not bring your dog in the mm -hmm. car. Your car, your dog does not want to go to the store with you. No, no. And this is just not a great time to have them out unless they need to be. Try to limit their outside time to just potty breaks. If you feel like they really need to go on a walk and burn off energy, try to do it in a shaded grassy area. I know today you're definitely not going to be able to hold your, your hand on the cement for too long and That's it's going to hurt. That's the test, isn't it? So, oh, yeah, yeah, so it's paws. not going to feel good on their paws at all. We always say if you hold the back of your hand for about five to seven seconds, mm -hmm. if it's uncomfortable for you, it's absolutely uncomfortable for them. So today is not a good day to be going outside for anything extra, um, but Shade, we do suggest shade and grass if you have yeah. to. Yeah, okay. and you need to run around a little bit, so we might try that. Yeah, go outside <laughs> with your pet. If yes. you can't stand it outside for very long they can't stand outside for very long mm -hmm. remember pets and like uh, dogs they don't sweat they have to pant yep. to cool off so yep. please keep that in mind all right so we need to get Roscoe home yeah. once again where's <laughs> Roscoe a located he's at Errol Maine all right so folks go check them out if you want more information about all the animals available at the Animal Rescue League of Iowa Rose where can they go they can go to arl-iowa.org wonderful have a great weekend thank you we're gonna get you a new home Roscoe yeah. get ready to go to a new place <laughs>